Hey Taurus, welcome to your June 2019 Psychic Tarot reading with me, Stella Wilde. This is for Taurus, June 2019, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome to your month. We're going to get into the astrology energies and then break it down with some tarot cards. I got these new astrology cards, so we'll pull a couple to look at the main focus for your month. Um, if you would like to support the channel, you can go check out my luck and opportunity forecast over on Vimeo. It's very reasonably priced. It looks at where Jupiter is transiting in your uh, chart right now, Taurus, in Sagittarius, and the benefits that you can get from this transit. And that is still in effect until December 2019. So Sometimes Jupiter doesn't deliver his benefits until a little later in the transit, so you might want to check that out. Also, this month I'm offering uh, love readings, all love all the time, love readings over on Vimeo uh, to look at just your love life for June. So you may want to check that out. I'll leave a link in the description. And finally, thank you. Thank you for returning. If you're a returning subscriber, I'm so glad you're here. Thank you for coming back. You guys mean the world to me. And um, if you're new here, please do hit the subscribe button, not the thumbs down, but the subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up button, the subscribe button. And so you get notified of when I release new videos, which is several times a week. The purpose of my channel is to give you the intuitive information and inspiration that you need to manifest your wildest dreams. So let's get into it. Let's get into it, my dear Taurus. What is going on for you? Let's pull some cards. This is sticking in my hand, and let's do one more. I've been doing two for each, and then we'll break it down with some tarot and see. This one's like popping. We'll do that one too. What is the focus of your month, June 2019, Taurus? Wow. Love. Ooh. Love and Spirit, the sun, wow, okay. So very interesting energy. Now, of course, the sun is ruled by Leo. So there could be a very important Leo in your life this month that is coming in as a lover. Um, you could be, I mean, it could. this could also just be an important Leo in your life that you love dearly, like a friend, it could be a child, it could be a relative, I mean, you know, whatever. But I'm gonna read this as love relationship. So you might want to get that Vimeo love reading because we'll dive deeper, much deeper into this energy. Um, okay, so you could be dealing with a Leo. Now, a lot of the times people are like, yeah, but Taurus and Leo, they don't get along. That's like not compatible energy. And that's not necessarily true because you are both fixed signs and the element is similar. The way, you know, your general energy, the way you move through life can be very similar. So, you know, I've used examples in other videos. I know a couple that's been together for like 20 years. One is um, a Sagittarian, the guy, and the lady is a Virgo, both mutable signs. They've been together forever and, you know, it's been fine. Um, I know a lot of Aries and Cancer couples. So it's, it's like you just, you know, <laughs> it's the element. So don't immediately, Taurus, close your mind to a, to, a, to a Leo because they could be a, a good match for you, particularly if the Leo has planets in Virgo, which of course, Earth sign would be very compatible energy to you. Now, Venus is also your sign because Venus rules Taurus. It also rules Libra. You could be dealing with a Libra this month as well, Taurus. So it seems that you may have two possibilities here for your love life. Um, the other thing I would say though too, is that this month of June, you should be loving life, really. The sun, the spirit, it's your essence, who you are, the sunshine, June, at least in the Northern hemisphere here, it's the start of summer. We have the summer solstice coming. It's like everyone's feeling like, you know, the vibe, it's summer, yay except where I am, where it's like 100 degrees <laughs> and it's only May or, you know, early June. I'm not feeling that vibe. All right. But you know what I'm saying? It's like this fresh energy, fresh vibe. You're feeling the joy of life. You're feeling love and beauty and connection 
and feeling good. This is feeling good energy. But we're going to dive into it for your love life, Taurus, because that's what it seems like to me. Okay, let's see. Wait, it looked like something. Yes, some card was upside down here. Okay, so I'm going to use my regular Rider Waite Tarot. Let's dive into this energy. What do we need to know about this for Taurus? What is this love energy coming in that's going to light up the spirit of the Taurus people? All right, let's see. Uh-oh, I already know what that card is because I know the back of the card. Isn't that funny? All right, now we have you upside down here. The Hierophant card is also associated with Taurus and the Tarot. We have the Ten of Swords upside down. We have Nine of Pentacles. So here's the deal. You're coming out of a love relationship. This is the ending of a love relationship right here. There was a betrayal. The marriage is over. The commitment is over, whatever it was. Live-in, commitment, marriage, and now you're alone. I mean, here's the story. It's right, it's right here. But you're happy because you're upright. Now, this could have happened in the recent past. This could have happened five weeks ago, five months ago. Uh, this could have even been about 10, 10 weeks or 10 months ago. Um, so this could be that you've come out of this. You're healed from this. And now you're in a much more stable place, okay? So, you know, that energy is, is also possible. So let's read this as, you know, you're coming into this energy now. You're coming into this. I hope that this is not the breakup this month because you have this beautiful energy here. But this is what you're, what you're going toward anyway. I mean, this is the energy that is most aligned with you this month. So even if it's not manifesting this month, this is what's on your radar to manifest. And sometimes the manifestation takes time to catch up with the vision. There's a wonderful quote by Neville Goddard, and he says, the vision will arrive at its own appointed hour. So when it's the right time for the vision, it will manifest. You can't really force that. I know sometimes in manifesting, they're like, well, you have to have a time frame, and you have to da 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 well, you also have to leave a little flexibility for the magic of the universe to enter into the manifesting. If you say, you know, I want a new relationship, you know, as of August 1st, you know, what if it comes August 2nd? Are you going to be mad? Like, like, you know what I mean? Like, and you're going to give up because it didn't arrive by August 1st. So then you're going to get all like disappointed and then you get into that energy vibe and you push it farther away from you. So while I think it's good to envision what you want to manifest and it's good to, to see the picture as if it's a movie in your mind. I mean, that is very good because then you align with the emotions. I also think you have to allow flexibility for the universe to work its magic. And I feel like that's kind of the message here to you as well. Um, you're in this energy, allow the universe to work its magic. Do not go into this despair because there's a reason this relationship ended. There was a betrayal. This, this is not just an ordinary breakup that you went through. There was a betrayal. Now, this could have been cheating. This could have been um, that the person just abandoned you. It's not always like cheating in third party. It can just be they left, you know. Um, but it's it's really, it was a long-term relationship because of this Hierophant card. Or this was even an engagement that broke up suddenly. But you're okay. You're in a stable place. All right, let's pull a few more cards. What else do we need to know about this love relationship? Love relationship. For my Tauruses. Taurus people. Okay. No, nope, didn't break right. One more time. Try it again. Nope, not yet. It has to be right. I can't just, I can't force it. Okay, there we go. All right. So look what we have here now. <laughs> we have the two of cups, we have the six of wands, and we have the moon upside down. Oh my goodness. So what is going on here? All right, well, I'll tell you. 
there is a, going to be a new love relationship. When is it coming? In June? Hmm, I don't think it's in June. Now this, this has happened a lot this month when I've done these readings. This eclipse energy in July is already coming into my June readings. I, I mean, it seems to have come into like all of them. And so I'm gonna talk a little about July because when do I see this relationship happening? I see it happening in two months. So by the end of July, there is still something else to be revealed, moon upside down, about the situation you were just in. Now, it is possible that this person comes back in July. You are going to reject them. I mean, that you are done with them. But I think that it is the act of finally doing that last rejection that is going to move you in the new direction because this is beautiful. Two of Cups, meeting new people, and it's a two. So like I said, two months. I feel like end of July into August, well, by the time eclipse season is over, it's Leo time. So that's our time marker right here. Oops. When the sun is in Leo, early August, I feel for you. Uh, there was going to be a new person and it's going to be very good. It's a great connection for you. Okay. So this month Taurus, I don't want you to get all in despair. Like, Oh, there's no love life this month, whatever. No, it's your, your really, um, uh, what's the word priming the pump. I don't know. You're, um, like, you know, you're getting ready. You're readying yourself and you're putting yourself in that energy of being able to love again. That's what I really feel. So this situation, so moon upside down, um, more secrets. I feel more secrets will be revealed. And like I said, this person, and, and especially around that full moon in July, July 16th, when we have the full moon lunar eclipse, uh, I feel like this person could contact you, come back, whatever, and you are going to reject them. It's like finally done, over, sayonara, get lost, loser, like done. Okay. <laughs> My New Yorker comes out sometimes. I mean, this is just the way it is. Get, get lost, loser, done, like, you know, have a nice day, you're done. So, because look at this, look at this energy that's upside down. And this is, that's, so to me, this energy represents that past connection. And this upside down energy ties in with this because these are all the upside down cards that I have just pulled. Whereas everything else, look at these beautiful cards that are upright. So the key here is for you to do you, Taurus. Do you, be happy where you're at right now because you got out of a situation that really was not worthy of you. And there was a betrayal. And, and another secret may come to light. You may even hear of somebody they were seeing and you didn't know. That's possible. You hear about it in July. That person could even contact you. Like their new partner could contact you because they're jealous and wanting to know, well, who was he or she with before? You know, some sort of crazy BS like that. So that's very possible. Um, but there's something about the situation that is a little wacky okay <laughs> with this moon upside down card it's a little bit weird now this is a general reading so i don't know specifically what the weirdness is for each person out there in taurus land but i can tell you that there is something weird i'm hearing something actually that i'll share with you but but there is something weird that could get revealed now, there could be some sort of um, intimate secret that comes to light and a secret of this person's behavior in the bedroom, shall we say, that you didn't know about and you find out about. I'll leave that to your imagination. You can figure that out. Um, however, you feel it applies. Uh, that you could, again, get wind. I feel like it's like you get wind of it. It's like you're not looking for the information, but somehow that information finds its way to you. It's amazing how that can happen in the days of the internet. And next thing you know, you're learning this stuff that you really didn't even probably want to know. But the reason the universe is giving you that information is really to put this situation finally to rest. Because when there is a betrayal like this, even though this is upside down, which means the pain is starting to lessen, 
there still is the compulsion, especially for a fixed sign, stubborn, to want to know why and know all the details and what the hell happened. So the universe is giving you that information, Taurus, so that you can finally move on. Because I think some of you might have been stubbornly clinging to hope that somehow this really wasn't the way you thought it was, or or rather, you were hoping there might this person might change their mind. I think, and I think that could be possible too. Not that they're going to change their mind, but I think that they could come back and try to see if they can get anything else from you. I mean, I think that's quite possible. But by that full moon in July, but you're gonna, you know, push them back because you know the story. Plus, like I said, this is beautiful. This is, you know, triumphant energy, two people meeting, both of these cards are upright. You just have to have the faith and stay the course. Love wants to come in and love wants to come to you in, in Leo season. And like I said, this could be a Leo, this could be a Libra, one of those that's going to come in for you. Okay, let's pull some Oracle cards and see what else we have for you, Taurus. Some very interesting energy there. Now, here's another possibility because this, you know, not every Taurus has a love situation going on. Everything I just said could also potentially apply to your job because the Hierophant rules commitments. This could be a commitment to your job. This could be a, the type of thing where they suddenly fired you. They say, I mean, you have Uranus in your sign right now, especially early Tauruses, and you could be getting slammed any, you know, any which way, you know, when Uranus comes in, you never know what the surprise will be. And you could have gotten fired, fired from a job, let go. Suddenly, without warning, you had been there a long time. You didn't do anything wrong. WTF, and it felt like a betrayal. Um, you will get information at that full moon in July as to what was really going on kind of behind the scenes. And if you're looking for a job, when is the best time? And you probably got a good severance. Like, you're okay. I mean, this, this is a good card. You shouldn't be suffering financially right now when this card is here. I mean, you may not be living high on the hog, but your bills are paid. You should be okay for a little while. Um, but if you're looking for a job, because Venus, remember, not only does she rule love, but she rules money. So if you're looking for a job, Leo season, wait till Mercury gets out of retrograde. Wait until the beginning of August to really push. You should, if you start by the beginning of August to look for a job, you should have one within six weeks would be my prediction by the end of September, okay? So it might take two months with the two here, but also um, work your connections, your friends for leads for jobs because that energy is very good here as well. Okay, all right, so let's dive into some Oracle cards and see what else we need to know. All right. Now, of course, um, I'll dive into on Vimeo, this love energy, I'll dive into it much more extensively. We'll see if we can get any more information from spirit about more timing, like who this really is, what might manifest with that person. Okay. So hit me up over there on Vimeo. Okay. Let's pull so that one sticking. That one sticking. We have in that one. Okay, we have anxiety. We have community. And we have door to spirit. So these are very interesting cards. I think that um, this is what's passing away. I really feel that. You have such beautiful cards here, really. So I think that this is, there was trauma over this. There, there, I mean, you can't deny that with this Ten of Swords. There was definitely anxiety, sleepless nights, worry, um, you know, the pain of being betrayed, stabbed in the back, you know, all of, all of the above. 
but I feel that's passing away. Let it pass away. Let it pass away, Taurus. You know, I have Mercury and Taurus, so I get the Taurus energy. Like, I get it. Like, we sometimes get fixated on an idea. <laughs> I mean, I know. So, like, just please. And then you, like, your, your mind is grinding, grinding, grinding on the idea. Let it go. <laughs> Let it go, because it's just causing you anxiety. Whatever happened, happened. More will be revealed in July. You will see. More will be revealed. Now, you have some beautiful energy here to gather with like-minded others in community and enjoy this energy. Enjoy this beautiful energy here. So around the solstice, there could be uh, a nice party that you're going to. It could be around the full moon. I feel like it's a little, a little later in, in uh, June. But a good opportunity to just enjoy yourself. I feel like a, a lot of you Tauruses kind of need that permission slip right now to go enjoy yourself. And door to spirit, this this is very important. There, there absolutely is the working of spirit in your affairs, and you know that. Um, I think it, you may have forgotten that because of the trauma that recently happened with that ending of that relationship. But the door to spirit is there, and there will be a new place you are headed to. Whether this be a job, like I talked about, if you lost your job, whether this be a new relationship, whatever the case may be, there is a new exciting adventure for you that's going to help you connect with your spirit in a much deeper and much more joyful way. Look at the colors in this, very joyful. Also possibly profitable, because it's like a golden door. So. A lot of you Tauruses have been kind of down in the dumps and not enjoying life because of the, you know, the betrayal, the situation that happened. So this month is about, I think, reconnecting to your joy and to your peace. There's a dove here. It's a little hard to see, but reconnecting, see a little bird right there, reconnecting to your joy, to your peace, to your tribe, your community, hanging out with people, relax, please relax. The situation that you're in, um, whether job or relationship or both, you know, will resolve itself. Is that going to happen this month? I'm feeling, like I said, more August into September. All right, but you'll have to come back and watch this video. There's this idea of having faith. I'm really feeling that from this reading of having faith and just Enjoy life right now, and the rest is gonna work itself out. It's gonna work itself out. Okay, let's pull an angel answer card. You can think of a question. We'll also look at the card in relation to the reading. All right, let's see. One of my Tauruses need to know. My Tauruses. All right, this one's kind of sticking. I just had this for Gemini. I'm gonna do it again. We have a no, but I'm gonna do it again. I'm not feeling that card that that was accurate. I'm gonna try it again. I mean, it might have been for a question you were asking, but I don't feel it's in relation to your reading. What else do my Tauruses need to know? Okay, so there will be a peaceful resolution to the situation that you are in. So, let the anxiety go. It's going to be fine. It's already fine. It's already been handled. It is done. All right, Taurus. I hope that was helpful. Leave me a comment. Let me know how the energy resonates. Please have a beautiful, beautiful month of June 2019. I wish you all the best. That's it for me, Stella Wild, signing out. Oh, and hit me up on Vimeo for the love reading.